okay in our previous session we learned about how to create a numeric uh, you know tile here right so from indicator it is like a numeric point tile so now uh, in this one what we learned about how to provide one particular measure here primary value and we now we are going to learn how to bring the secondary value and how can i you know update this um, secondary value um, variance not variance yeah for example on the primary value i want to show the current month and the previous month value difference i want to show on the bottom okay so the story what story i'm using i am using classical story but you know optimize the story not so that's the reason we don't have uh, in the for example what i am going to do now uh, let me create a new So I'm going to create a new story. So I'm going to create a new canvas story now. So now I'm going to take optimize design experience. So when I take this optimize design experience, the look and feel will be a little bit different compared to the uh, normal one. So in this one, what I'm going to do, uh, so first I need to, let me add data first here. So I added data to my story, you know, um, by selecting my model. So now what I'm going to do, I want to insert, you know, um, you see here and the new view, uh, we have left panel, right panel, separate, uh, you know, icons are there to select right panel and all. Now I am going to insert a chart into my design panel. And uh, then what next? So after adding this chart, uh, I need next, I need to buy into my data, right? So next, measure. Let me select at least one measure. So I am selecting my quantity here. So then now bar column chart is there, right? I'm changing it to the line, um, this uh, numeric pointer chart, numeric pointer. So now if we see here, we have measure section and then primary value, secondary value, color, filter, but extra chart add-on options, chart properties. These options are not available in our uh, here, in the older version, okay? This point to be noted. So in the new story, we have chart add-on and chart properties. In the chart add-on, what we have here, we have uh, you know variance, trails, cross calculation. You know, hype. these are all there. You know, chart properties. So these are all there. But in the other one, older version, we don't have anything. Okay, no properties are there, but uh, these are different things. I think these are missing here. So currently, I am telling you with uh, with uh, options from the older version. Okay, later we see the same thing how we can apply on the newer version also. Okay, so in this version now what is my requirement? So before going to my design my requirement, let's add one more chart into the panel to understand this. So I am adding one bar chart here with the vertical axis and uh, taking quantity on the here and uh, date dimension. I am taking date dimension and uh, I am going to apply my hierarchy here. So by clicking on this uh, apply hierarchy, uh, choose hierarchy. So here on the top, I am choosing year and month and click on set. So by clicking, you know, what I did, I went to my date dimension. I clicked on this hierarchy symbol and then on the top, I selected, you know, set hierarchy. I selected month and so what is this uh, level one level two level three so this is all this is nothing but year this is nothing but month when i select select level three then i will say the data at a month level okay so now let's keep this uh, here somewhere or else uh, what we do is uh, let's uh, move this one to the bottom and move this to the top because uh, to get more understanding and this style to the next little bit like this okay so now these are the month wise quantities okay and the two what happened this is in a, I, let me apply scaling factor for this two so it will match with this one so let me go into scaling factor mm, thousands so now next 
and decimals yeah decimals also not looking good let me take uh, two decimals so the sum of all these nothing but is 18 okay so now quantity is done now what i am said now i want to do a kind of you know we have different months of data okay for example if i want to see this report for only one month one month okay uh, means whatever data i am seeing in my page i want to select for only one month filter so how can i do it um, so now to in order to get the you know secondary value here i am going to secondary value dimension and i am going to add measure here i am going to create a calculation okay so what is this calculation as i told my secondary value must be the difference of the first one and pre, uh, uh, the other one right so i am going to select here the difference from because i want to calculate the variance here okay so here uh, i need to give some name here now i am giving previous month okay so what next i am going uh, i am going to, i am going to take my measure as quantity and time dimension as date now comparison happens here so what is the comparison previous month to current month so a minus b a must be previous month b is the uh, a is the current month i think b is previous month now what i am going to do so here i am going to select with new input control okay the initial value okay primary value i am going to select with input control and the secondary value i want the difference between these two okay so now i am going to create one input control uh, ip underscore month okay and then value selection so value by select by member so here i am going to select all the members under my here you see when you go to this uh, filter here on here we have one drop down here you need to select your hierarchy i want hierarchy year and month only okay now i am going to the bottom and selecting all these individual months because i am going to select only one month out of it so single selection and click on ok now click on ok now what was the other value so the variance i want one month right so number of periods one here give nth period period and periods to win so so what would happen compared to a it will go one month back and it will check the variance of it okay now click on okay now for example now what happened here i got 3.53 and this is the new input uh, one which was created here um not this one sorry this is wrong one let me remove this so this is the input control which we created uh, via the new calculated key figure and this, okay so now you see currently it is showing 3.53 which is a january month if i go to february then it is showing point one point minus 1.5 you see compared to february to january okay there is a decrease in 1.5 whenever i select february the difference with the previous month it is showing here for example if i select march then what is happening so 2.99 2.03 almost 0 0.95 the difference we are getting but you see the primary value is not changing where when i am seeing difference here on the top i must see the pri primary value right so how to get primary value here so i am going to delete my primary value because i don't want quantity total here i am going to create a new calculate column that is nothing but one restricted key figure with the primary with the selection okay i am taking a restricted measure and i am taking rk rkf underscore quantity quantity and then uh, you know measure what is my measure my measure is quantity and uh, i am taking from the selection dimension i am taking this one and uh, value for input control so this ip month is the right based upon the selection what i am given here the value comes into my primary value now click on ok button now you see i got 2.99 so why i got 2.99 here so you see i selected march here so for march the value is 2.99 so i am seeing here and compared to march to the previous month february the variance is 0.95 it is means 2.0.95 it was increased okay so like this but the heading you see it is uh, coming too much here what i can say simply we can because it is showing quantity for actuals so it is 2.99 in thousand 
but the previous month uh, delta so what you can see delta you can mention here previous month go to edit calculation and change this previous month delta or else delta from previous month okay so it's a very big one uh, so in generally we use symbols here so delta from previous month i am writing here 0 0.95 so i hope you understand now how to get you know uh, based upon the selection it will change if i select uh, february now it will show 2.03 on primary axis and difference but what happens if i select january so 3.53 because there is no previous uh, you know thing is there it is showing the uh, normal value so it is not able to subtract anything okay so that's it so i hope it is uh, you are able to understand this one and uh, thresholds and all you know uh, same thing other values are all same okay if, if you want to change uh, you know label or uh, colors of these things and all uh, from styling you can do i already explained you know all these uh, text formats in our previous session